In this video, we will show some of the heat exchange or cooling pipes functionality. We have created a 3D solids work sketch, which we will use as the cooling pipes route. We click on the right hand mouse button menu from the heat exchange folder in the Moldworks feature manager tree and select insert cycle. The sketch is analyzed and the cycle is calculated and previewed according to the following rules. All pipes must reach at least one face boundary, even if they have to be extended past the sketch. Plugs, or whatever has been defined in the initial settings, are added at external boundaries according to the pipe diameter, also defined under the initial settings. O-rings are added at internal face boundaries. Pipes are displayed in red if collisions are detected between component or part boundaries according to a preset thin wall distance. The pipes here are shown in red since they overlap at the insert boundaries which are curved. However, this will not interfere with the plugs, so we ignore it. The pipe and component displayed in green are the current pipe which can be modified in the cycle tab. The current component is modified to a connector and we select the connector type from a drop-down list. The connector can be automatically adjusted to be flush to the plate boundary. We browse with the arrows to the other side and create the same connector there as well. Next, we select the sketch of the horizontal pipe on the far side to make it current and toggle it to be both sides. When a pipe has been extended by the software to a part boundary, toggle button is made active, which allows you to choose the other side or both sides. We modify the pipe diameter and extension and click on the all pipes in part button to modify all the pipes in this part to be the same. Now we create the cycle. We want to add components to the cooling pipes in the insert, so we isolate it. We use the Select Other to select part of the pipe to which we want to add the components. Notice that the pipe is selected in the Heat Exchange folder under the Moldworks Feature Manager tree as well. Notice. Also, this tree includes all the technological information regarding the cycle, the pipes, and the components. Using the right-hand mouse button on the pipe, we access the menu to add components. In this case, we add a threadless plug and position it with the offset button. Next, we create another one for the same pipe, positioning it further up. We use these plugs to direct the flow. We create threadless pipes on the opposite side as well. We have a menu to make the mold transparent, and here we show the cycle in OpenGL mode, which can be useful in understanding the cycle. Check out the Runners and Gates module in the next video.